There's something very interesting going on in the modern world. I noticed it a few years ago and wanted to share it with you. Successful and high-value men, as well as those in positions of power, are gradually leaving the dating market. They have all collectively concluded that men are fighting a losing battle against women. Newer philosophies emerged in the 1970s and 1980s as things began to change following the free love craze of the 1960s. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, women were unleashed to act according to their true nature, and forms and pickup artistry gained traction. Men had obviously discovered a way to understand female nature and use it to their advantage. With the emergence of subreddits and communities, social dynamics began to shift, and women began to gain more and more benefits for at least eight years. Men from all walks of life have banded together to recognize how poor the risk-to-reward ratio is when dealing with women in general. The media despises it, but if you talk about it with anyone, they will start to agree with you. Millions of people have tried to disprove red pill theories, but they always seem to prove themselves in the end. The world is finally revealing its true colors. Women are now winning in divorce courts. Men with so much power and money, such as Johnny Depp, have been dragged through the courts over the mere word of a woman. It's mind-boggling what's going on these days. There was a time when rich men were undefeatable. Now people who have enjoyed years of fame and power are losing their jobs because of a woman's word. Vince McMahon was recently hit with one. Even wealthy and powerful men are realizing that they are no longer safe and are adopting red pill philosophies. You see a lot of gurus and internet personalities take over, like Andrew Tate, and these people get banned because they popularize the red pill which the media cannot afford. We are socially a place where women have supreme power over men. Even if you've spent years amassing wealth and connections, all it takes is a woman's word to bring you down. How long do you think it will take for men to fully understand female behavior? When you see guys like Andrew Tate gaining so much traction and likes from all over the world, you realize this time isn't far away. And it also makes sense why so many high value men are opting out of the marketplace. They've simply learned their lesson. They discovered that the dynamics of riches are no longer what they used to be. Scandals and rape allegations can devastate their entire lives. Men's biological tendencies continue to guide them. Things have already changed in the Me Too movement. We have many experienced high-value men who have completely abandoned women. Most people are content to live a life devoid of women. For them, mental ability trumps biological value, and they are above the concept of sleeping with women. To me, this is the future. If I look at things positively, I see a massive exodus of men leaving the marketplace, with the greatest loss coming from high-value men such as actors and millionaires. They are already aware of the risk-to-reward ratio. Women will have no choice but to recognize their positions. They will be out there chasing men who no longer want them. And we all know that true power, such as wealth and influence, is never obtained by women. Most millionaire women were either born into it or acquired it through divorce laws. When you consider that the majority of male billionaires and millionaires are self-made, statistics like these are becoming clearer by the day, and the real winner here is. I understand if you're a young guy whose hormones are driving you insane, but wait a few years and you'll see how desperate the women are to settle down. If it keeps rising at this rate, men will be wondering what all the fuss was about with women. They will spend their free time participating in sports, maintaining their bodies, and working on projects. Perhaps they will purchase a new drone and work on their photography project. All that money would have been squandered on dinner dates anyway. Many men are becoming aware of this fact and experiencing the inner peace that it brings. Consider how Leo DiCaprio constantly changes women and refuses to settle down. Finally, I'd like to emphasize how ironic everything is. In their pursuit of power and advancement, women have sacrificed their own power by passing bias laws and making women the most influential gender in offices and the media. Women have insulted, cheated, and robbed men all over the world and these men then discover the red pill and contribute to the greatest men's rights movement of all time. In some ways, women have brought about their own demise by treating a perfect ecosystem of bidders who could have provided them with perfect lives, as if she were a queen and pissed all over it. These men have now learned their lesson and abandoned the game entirely. Remember men, don't put women on a pedestal. They're simply not worth it. Please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it.